Now we are moving to the topic number 18. I believe and I have a strong faith that you are going to love it. Cutting versus bulking. Cutting versus bulking. Biochemical and hormonal consideration in body composition management. Today we will break down the biochemical and hormonal consideration when transitioning between cutting and bulking phases. Learn how to manage muscle gain and fat loss during each phases for optimal body composition. Cutting and bulking are two distinct phases of bodybuilding, each with specific biochemical and hormonal consideration that influence body composition. Understanding these phases at the molecular and hormonal level is crucial for effectively managing muscle growth and fat loss. Bulking refers to a calorie surplus phase where the goal is to gain muscle mass. During this phase, an excess of calories primarily from protein and carbohydrates stimulates insulin secretion. Insulin and anabolic hormone promotes nutrient storage in muscles and fat cells. At the same time, testosterone and growth hormone levels rise in response to strength training, promoting muscle protein synthesis and hypertrophy. Insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF-1, produced in the liver in response to GS, plays a crucial role in muscle cell proliferation and repair. However, a prolonged calorie surplus may lead to fat accumulation as excess calories are stored as adipose tissue, especially if protein intake is insufficient. Cutting, on the other hand, involves a caloric deficit aimed at fat loss while maintaining muscle mass. In this state, cortisol, a catabolic hormone, is elevated. Cortisol increases protein breakdown to provide energy which can lead to muscle loss if not carefully managed. However, growth hormones is still secreted in response to resistance training, promoting fat breakdown, lipolysis, and preserving muscle tissues. The increase in glucagon and decrease in insulin during cutting further aids in fat mobilization. To prevent muscle loss, it's crucial to consume adequate protein and engage in resistance training. Both phases require precise nutritional strategies and training requirement to optimize hormonal response and achieve the desired body composition outcome, whether it's muscle gain or fat loss. Last three topic we have left. Now we are heading to topic number 19. Nutrient timing and muscle protein synthesis. Biochemical insight into 